Hi everybody, this is Joanne. The other week when I was out getting a pedicure, I was giggling. Um, it's not because my feet are particularly ticklish or that my nail technician is especially funny. I was reading a biotechnology book. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Now, I don't know about you, but I do go to the movies and I do happen to occasionally attend a movie that does have a somewhat of a scientific theme. Oftentimes I will go to those and point out all the little missteps, how science was misrepresented, including things like, hey, that stuff really belongs in the refrigerator. Why is that out at room temperature? These are just little criticisms I'll throw at movies just because I know way too much biotechnology because that's what I teach to my college students. That's the kind of outreach I do to the general public to help them understand biotechnology. Today's book is about biotechnology. The take these uh, gentlemen who wrote the book are presenting is that popular culture does not do a very good job at presenting biotechnology as it really is or biotechnologies true potential and what can really happen. So of course we're always presented with the idea that our clones, it, should they ever be made, will look exactly like us and they will turn evil. Today's book that I recommend to my college students and I recommend to high schoolers stopping by is a book called How to Defeat Your Own Clone and Other Tips for Surviving the Biotech Revolution written by Kyle Kropinski and Terry D. Johnson. And these two gentlemen uh, both work in the biotechnology field, whether it be academia or research. This book, I will vouch for its accuracy in the presentation of biotechnological techniques, including DNA sequencing, fingerprinting, genetic manipulations, synthetic biology, cloning, things like that. So what they did was to describe all of this in quite a humorous way, in a bit of an exaggerated way, and then relating it to the common misbeliefs people have about biotechnology, doing it in such a way that if you like The Daily Show, if you like The Colbert Report, you will find this book to be quite entertaining, as I did. So the final chapter of the book is How to Defeat Your Own Clone and look good while doing it. So I will say, with my nice pedicure, I've already got a step up on my clone, unless she's had Botox or her teeth whitened or something like that that I haven't quite gotten around to. Maybe I should be worried. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm highly, highly recommending this book because it teaches the stuff I know in a very, very funny way. It's good information presented in a way that's going to be received by a lot of people. Go ahead and pick yourself up a copy and enjoy it.